gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb And I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma it is about a blustery 27 degree day. I can't even say it. Blah, blah, blah. 27 degree day here in Minnesota. This is the mom farm life. We run, run, run as fast as we can. Sometimes we get everything done that we try to accomplish while the children are at school. My youngest is in preschool, so she only goes for like a half day till 11. So let's get our girdle on. Let's get the show on the road. First things first. Gotta feed the chickens to keep them out of our way. So, they're already in the barn, scavenging for food, much like chickens do. So I fill all the buckets prior to me going out anywhere to kind of have them ready to go. The donkeys always think that they need grain, but any good donkey keeper knows that they don't. Donkeys can almost live off of air and stay fat. Overweight donkeys are not a cool idea. They can be prone to things like diabetes, laminitis, uh, Cushing's disease, that kind of thing. You want to keep a very fit donkey. But we get the pig feed ready, we get the chicken feed ready, and we run, run, run as fast as we can morning chores and 27 degrees also includes chipping out ice because here in Minnesota 27 degrees stuff freezes but on a brighter note it's not as frozen as it could be lilac how are you doing lilac lilac is a moonbeam chicken moonbeam chickens are actually really cool so I don't add a lot of extras in the morning, except for the chickens. In the winter time, I add, where's my scoop? I add a little bit of laying crumble, not much, about a scoop. I don't particularly want them laying in the winter time. I want them to have their time off. And right now, of course, like all good chickens do, in the cold weather, the molting. The stupidest thing, I swear. Molting in 27 degrees is just, I don't know, it makes sense to me. We give it a good turn and a good mix. I've already added red bond conditioner into this, so it's got our base feed, some black oil sunflower seeds, a little bit of chicken crumble, and voila. Usually I add calf mana to this as well, but I've got to get out of the car, so that'll be a PM feed. Pigs are already saying, hey, feed me. So I've noticed in my analytics that a lot of people that watch my videos actually don't subscribe to them. I would love it if you could, if you could hit that subscribe button. Even if there's just a few things that you like about my videos, it would really help out the analytics in the long terms for me as a creator to be able to know what you like and hitting the like button and the subscribe is how we get there. So if you could, that would be great. I'm definitely not pressuring you at all, but it'd be cool. Morning ladies, move your butts. Move your chicken butts. There you go. Now into the coop to feed too. I feed in several different places because we have turkeys. Turkeys like to steal. I kind of honor little suckers, but I like them anyway. Hello. Are you working hard? You working hard? Okay, chickens fed, check. Coops open, check. Initially, oh, ducks, ducks, hello ducks. Initially, I like to break their water bucket and then I'll clean it out. I just do a quick jab with the foot and then go from there. Oh, the pigs are so sassy. They say, hey, it's chilly, feed me. So that's next on the docket, lilac, lilac. 
Lilac is a thief. She's a thief. She's cool though. All right, so I'm gonna try something different. Bear with me. This is gonna take a lot of editing. Okay. Might be a fair bit of wobble in this, but whatever. Oh, but this little blue guy I got in my right hand is my bodyguard. This little dude keeps me safe when the boars are pretty crabby because the sows are in heat, or the sows are pretty crabby because they're in heat, or somebody is just feeling like they want to push their dominance level. It gives me a little bit more of an extension of my arm, and I only use it when I have to. I stress that. I only use it when I have to. But I bring along with me to keep me safe, because most of this stuff, I'm doing by myself. Out you go. Out you go. Out you go. Our pigs actually eat quite a bit of hay, along with their grain ration. One. Oop, too much. Pull this guy out of the water. Ooh. My baby's out. Three. Come on, sissy. Four. Oh, big daddy. That's Mac. I think this is the first time that you guys have been so close to him. If anybody thinks that Oz is big, Mac is like 10 times bigger. Mac is six years old, almost seven. Out you go. Out you go, good boy. Hey, out. Look at him. Big dude. Good boy. Respectful. Fairly anyway. Cows are over there eating on the bale behind the windbreak. Pigs are fed. Kind of have to watch them a little bit. The sows anyway. Um, Chelsea likes to be a thief and Ella needs all the sustenance she can get because she gets pushed out quite a bit. She used to be a dominant and now she's not. Such is life with the pigs. This is Ella. This is Chelsea. That's Sissy. And the OG. Judith. Chickens. What's next, would you say? What's next besides feeding the pigs? We gotta stand here and babysit a little bit with Ella because otherwise Chelsea will push her out of her tub. So it seems like you guys like pig content more than you like cattle content and things like that um please let me know in the comments which one you prefer and hopefully i can facilitate that uh by getting you a little bit more of what you want to watch on my channel and it gives me a boost in yes i do like that no i don't like that so that helps me out in uh creating as far as what content you guys like what content you don't like my goodness you guys are loud today yeah the sheep are very loud today they said, I want my alfalfa, my little treat. They don't get pure alfalfa, they get it mixed in. I actually cheat a little bit. I make a little well in their feeder, and then I put the alfalfa in the inside, so I have to work to get it. Every good candy should be worked for, right? Check on her. Ooh, she's a good girl. So these ladies will be farrowing in May. Uh, we set the boars on them, or to them, or put them with the boys, their boyfriends, um, in February, so that they effectively have babies in May. Because we don't use farrowing crates with our pigs, we actually farrow them outside in huts, and they get to be moms. This dome actually is really cool. I'm not exactly sure what it's off of, but it's really, really wicked cool. We're getting there, guys. We've got calves to do, and then we've got to make sure that everybody has clean, unfrozen water. So, we get the calves going. They're getting big, which is great. Um, we are probably keeping a few more heifers than we had planned on originally, because I have sort of a crazy idea, which may or may not pan out, but 
from the research that I've done, I think it will. We will be expecting a new arrival very shortly to help us facilitate my crazy idea. <sighs> I don't think it has a name yet, but it definitely has a job. Hey, babies. Ooh, gotta get in with the calves. They have a heated water tank, so less problem there. Um, and as soon as everybody goes to the sale for who is not gonna stay, hey, big sister, come on. How'd you go? Problem child. How'd you go, big man? Tater, look out. Look out. Tater, look out. Good girl. Here we go, babies. Walk through the opening. Listen for it. They're gonna hit the gate every time. Hi. That's Aurora. The dairies. Everybody over there. Hey, babies. So the calves get fed twice a day. Try to hold you while I dump the bucket. So this is a two-handed job, guys. Out, 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 out. Mm, the vittles. Look at those hungry little mouths. They're not actually that hungry. They just really like the feed. I'm gonna step back. Go ahead. Go ahead. These guys aren't incredibly tame yet, but the heifers that stay, they do get messed with quite a bit more. Uh, I just don't mess with them until we know who's going to stay so I don't get attached to everybody. Because it is a definite thing for me to get attached to the ones that I shouldn't get attached to. So, have sped. Their water is checked. Good. So we don't have to drag out the hose, which is one of those Minnesota things too, to bring the hose into a warm place so it doesn't freeze. Yuck, frozen hoses are horrible. And surprisingly enough, they take forever to thaw out. So, this might be a little bit of an annoying video for some, but this is my mommy morning routine as a farm mom and yeah. If anybody ever wonders how I get my cardio, this is it. Shut the gate. That's a big thing. Remember to latch the gate. Y'all, it's a lot more difficult than you might think with one hand. So, I'm gonna hold ya. Hold ya. And latch the gate. There we go. All right, next up, we're gonna get the sheep done. They get some grain in the morning. They'll be getting grain twice a day when they do get closer to lambing. Everybody is in lamb. We had our ultrasound on December 6th and everybody is in lamb. So when they get closer to the lambing date, they will get more grain. So they'll get grain morning and at night. But right now they only get grain once a day because the more grain you give them, the bigger they get, the harder it is for them to lamb. So you need to keep a conscious eye on how much they get for vittles and that way they do just fine having their babies. I look in the background right now and I'm like, oh, fan, used to be warm. Uh, so I do a quick dusting, quick dusting of Red Bond conditioner. This actually does have, and then I mix it all up. And because there's a molasses in it, it actually sticks to the feed fairly well. And you want to make sure that you get it all mixed in really, really well so that everybody gets their mineral. But the Red Mount conditioner that I do feed them actually does have copper in it, but the levels that I feed is adequate for sheep. It's at least for them. Oh, here we go with the two hands thing. Two hands, zipper. <laughs> Betty, Betty, Betty. Talkative, talkative, Betty. You looking at my nose? Don't do that, there's boogers in there. Okay, hi ladies. All right, I'm gonna set you up on this bale. Set you up on the bale and show you what we do. You can see half of it. All right. Good morning. Good morning there, sleeps. Don't step in that, that's water. Dump out the tubs. Dump out the tubs. Make sure that they're clean. Hello, Roman. Move your bottle. So this is a new to them building. 
which I really, really, really like because it gives them that open, airy feeling. You don't have to worry about them being stuck in a situation where they might get like pneumonia because of lack of airflow and that kind of thing. Excuse me. Right now their spent hay is working a little bit more like bedding than I would like it to, but that's kind of the nature of sheep. They're a little bit wasteful, but that's okay. All right, so now we go quickly down the line. Move it, Betty. There's always one that gets in the way. There we go. All right, that's feeding sheep grain. Now we need to do their hay. I'm gonna grab this feeder and put it right there. Oh, come on, babies. Let's tip this up just a little bit. There you go. There we go. Now we do the hay. So the hay that they get is actually from our fields that we hay. Uh, it's a little bit less than what they like. I've learned that sheep really like leafy stuff. This is fairly leafy, but not 100% leafy. So what I usually do is I make a well in the center. And I pack all the, the other hay on the outside. And then I get their alfalfa, which I have to go grab. I better do it now before they realize that I'm doing it. All right, the alfalfa, they love this. Love, love, love it. So, like any good candy treat, you stick it in the middle. And this helps them eat the things that maybe they don't like. Kind of like little kids. You gotta eat your, your greens before you get your candy. I do a little bit of cheating because otherwise they're all gonna jump the good Come on. I'll put a little bit in their feeders as well, just because. Oh. Okay. There you go. All right. Next adventure. Cricket hat. Adding some bedding to the pigs to make sure that they're staying warm and doing waters. You want to see that? It's up to you. Might as well. Ready? Well, I get these flat nosers bedded up with cornstalk bedding. I wanted to pull your ear for a minute and tell you about Herd Watch, Flock Watch, and Grass and Crop. Each one of these individually have amazing qualities from mapping babies to treatments to feed purchases to the hayfield you planted two miles down the road that you're renting from a guy you know. Individually, each one of these apps have amazing qualities. As a package, using all three combined on your farm, it's a no-brainer for me. I'll give you some music to listen to while I bet up the pigs. bus for the little one pulls up just as I'm finishing up my last bucket here. For those of you who stuck around all the way to the end, thanks so much. Please hit the like and subscribe, leave a comment, and like always, we'll check you later.